Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the Hamming code generation. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. These Hamming codes are used for both error detection and correction. So how let's discuss by solving a problem. The first problem is 1010. The first step will be the step one is generating the parity bits. Generate parity bit. So how to generate parity bit is we are having a formula that is 2 power r greater than or equal to m plus r plus 1. So what is the formula? 2 power r is equal to 2 power r greater than or equal to m plus r plus 1. Now what is the r value? We don't know the value of r. But what is m value? So m is the number of bits that are given 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 bits are given in question therefore m value is equal to 4. R value we don't know. So we will apply the trial and error method. For first let r value is equal to 1. Let r value is equal to 1. If r value is equal to 1, 2 power r. So 2 power 1 greater than or equal to m value is 4. 4 plus r value is 1 plus 1. So what will be the value? 2 power 1 will be 2 greater than or equal to 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So whether the condition is correct, 2 is greater than or equal to 6? No, this is not correct. Next, let r is equal to 2. So if r is equal to 2, 2 power 2 greater than or equal to 4 plus 2 plus 1. 2 power 2 is 4 greater than or equal to 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So whether this condition is correct, that is 4 greater than or equal to 7, no. Next, let r value is equal to 3. If r value is equal to 3, 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1. 2 power 3 means 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. 8 greater than or equal to 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. So the condition is greater than or equal to, so 8 equal to 8. So we can choose r value as 3. We can choose r value as 3. Now the parity bits will be represented in 2's power. Parity bit represented in 2's power. So if you see 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 like this. So 2 power 0 value will be 1. 2 power 1 value will be 2, 2 power 2 value will be 4. So why I used 0, 1, 2 is there are 3 numbers. R value is equal to 3. So 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 2 is second one, 2 power 3, 2 power 2 is third one. So we wrote the value 1, 2 and 4. Now we came to know that at M value is 4. Therefore 4 bits plus 3 parity bits. 3 parity bits. We found out the value of the parity bit that is 3. 4 bits with 3 parity bits is total 7 bits. So we are having the 7 bits in the problem. Mm -hmm. So what are my 7 bits? So let's write from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's give, the, give them the number. So the first place will be acquired by 2 power 0. But we don't know the correct value of the 2 power 0. What I will write? I will write P1. Next, at the second place, P2. At the fourth place, that is P3. Now we must find these parity bits. Three parity bits will be located at 1, 2 and 4th position. We must find out their values. And other four values which will be added will be 7 bits now. So other four values are 1, 0, 1, 0. Write like this. 1, 0, 1, 0. 0. While writing P1, P2 from left side to right side, while writing these 4 parity bit, uh, while writing these 4 bits, 1, 0, 1, 0 directly. Now, since we have 3 parity bits, so 2 power 3, that is 8 number of combinations will be there. Because we are not knowing the value of 3 parity bits, 2 power 3 means 8 combinations. If there were 4 unknowns means 2 power 4 combinations would be there. 
to find the possible values of the P1, P2 and P3. Now, since we have 8 combinations, what will be the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 0 to 7 means 8 possible combinations. So, if we see the combinations, what will be there? For this will be P1, P2 and P3. 4, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this short trick will be coming in the digital logic design. Hope you know the short trick of writing the 8 combinations. Now, wherever the values are 1 for P1, just write. So, P1 values are 1 at the position of 1, 3, 5, 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. Next, P2. Wherever P2 values are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. 2, 3, 6, 7. Next, P3 values. 4, 5, 6, 7. P3 values are 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, you enter the values which you are knowing. So, the value of the first one is P1. Third one is 0. Fifth one is 1. And seventh one is 1. Now, second one. Second one is P2. Third is 0. Six is 0. Seven is 1. Next for this one, P3. Fourth value is P3. Fifth value is 1. Sixth value is 0. And seventh value is 1. So, you can do it in the two possible ways. That is odd parity and by following E1 parity. Let's follow the E1 parity. So, now we are using we are using E1 parity. So, since we are adding since we are using E1 parity there must be equal number of zeros and equal number of ones. So, if you see that is E1 number must be there. So, if you see the P1 value, here two ones are there, but only one zero is there. We must make it equal and even. So, to make, so to make this whole as even, if I add P1 value as 0, if I add P1 value as 0, then two zeros will be there, two ones will be there, and the number of zeros are even. So, we came to know that the P1 value will be equal to 0. Next, if you see P2, there are two zeros already, only one one is there. So, to make it even, what I will make? P1 value, P2 value as 1. So, to make it even, I will assign P2 value as 1. Now, P3. Here, two ones are there, but only one zero is there. So, to ma make it even, I will make the P3 value as 0. So, P3 value will be equal to 0. Now, the last step is at the receiver side. So, this all will be sent at the sender side. Now, at receiver side. At receiver side, write all the value. What is P1's value? P1's value is, we assign P1 value as 0. So, 0, 0, 1, 1. Next, P2 as 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. Next, P3. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. So, at the receiver side, if even number of zeros are equal to even number of ones at the receiver side if even number of zeros are equal to even number of ones then the message will be accepted then the message will be accepted you can see here both 00 and 11 so even 11 and 00 both are having 2 ones and 20 so accepted 20 and 21 so accepted so you can assign their values as 0, 0, 0. Because if they are having even number of zeros equal to even number of ones, the receiver side will assign the value of 0 to them. If all the values are 0, then the message which you sent from the sender side will be accepted at the receiver side. So, at the first process, you will be, so at the first step, you will be generating the parity bit. Using how many number of parity bits you must need, you will be generating them using the two powers. So, how many number of bits was given? 4 plus 3 parity bits, it was 7. 
you wrote from 1 to 7 p1 p2 p3 value you are not knowing so 2 power 3 combination if 4 unknowns means 2 power 4 combination like that so 2 power 3 value was 8 so 8 combinations we wrote p1 p2 p3 possible outcomes we wrote and to make them even parity that is even number of zeros equal to even number of ones so we assigned the values so that the number of zeros will be equal to number of ones at the receiver side we got all the numbers as even number of zeros equal to even number of ones therefore they assigned the output value as zero for each process that is each parity bit therefore the message was accepted at the receiver end hope you understood the concept of the aiming code if you like the video please subscribe for more engineering related topics and if you have any doubt please comment below please support us thank you